hand tools. Just load it up here. So. Oh! What? Shit. Did you see what I seen? I did. Money, Shane. Oh, look at, look, look, look. That's right, YouTube Universe, Magic Mike. We're going to see Jimi Hendrix shirt. And Chachi Paparazzi, they showed up. They're only five hours late. Shane and I have been busting our hump all day. Tell them that's a lie, Chachi. <laughs> Tell them that's a lie, Chachi. Are you saying? This truck was loaded to the top, all the way to the back. We got some great finds. Look at this Lionel train trussel. In the box, brand new. Just like Chachi had when he was a kid. Out with the 1876-1976 Budweiser crate, Anheuser-Busch. And we got all kind of great things in here. And then take a look. What's in here? Oh, look at all that Lionel. Track transformer. This thing's just loaded. Oh, not the greatest condition. Let's see what's underneath there, Shane Master. Look at this. We got Lionel's in the box here. All kind of stuff. So, people love trains, we always sell them well. That tower there, very cool. More treasure to be had, look at this bad yeah, boy. The Texas .15 size, the Texan I should say. So, little radio control airplane. Take a look ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get some fire or wood this place I mean look at this the piles that pile over there is probably like at least I don't know 25 feet tall 30 feet tall look at that YouTube universe the truck packed Stack full of wood. What do you think, Silent Shane? I think it's going to be coming out. We're taking it all down. I'll show you guys where we're taking it. So there's the beginning of the stack. Say hi, everybody. So there you go. We're going to pile it up. We'll see how much wood we got. We got four pallets ready. Another one on the side to go. It's going to be a lot of wood. Holy wood. The Shane taking it down. How you doing Shane? Doing good. Doing good. Almost yeah. halfway there. That's what we look like so far ladies and gentlemen. We got a wall of wood going. We're on our second tier of pallets. We'll see if we can get it all fit. Alright YouTube Universe look at this. Shane and I almost got the truck emptied. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Let me show you the stack in the basement. There's the final pack and stack. Five pallets loaded. A little bit over two cords of wood. Heat up the house for the winter. It's gonna be cold in Ohio. Hey YouTube Universe, how are we doing today? Robert Zabe Auction Eric Sure and Air here, and guess what? You won't believe it. I just got a unit, and guess how much I paid? Shane, tell them. Free. Free, that's right, F-R-E-E-E. -E -E. Wait, that's a little bit too many E's. But it was free, I'll add an extra E, cause that's free. That's right, the storage facility called me up. The unit, I found gold, silver, antiques, collectibles in. Guess what? They called me up, they said I could have this unit. The guy paid $1,800, he abandoned it. So he took what he wanted, we'll see what's in here. Let's see if we can make some money off this unit. Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
What are you waiting for? Subscribe, people. Subscribe. You never know where you're going to see. Never know where we're going to go. We go everywhere from millionaires' mansions, hoarder houses. I do storage auctions. You never know. And once again, the best thing, you can actually buy the stuff you see. www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. I can't wait to go in this unit. Shane can't wait to go in this unit. Just keep watching. Let's see what's inside. All right. We're going to open it up. Let's see what was left. We might even not even take the unit, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. What isn't left? Holy smoke. This ain't a joke. I thought they were talking about the other people's unit. Jeez, they're talking about this unit. So, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig and uh, we'll have to see if there's anything in here worth taking. So, I think the manager's coming up now to talk to us. How's it look? Anything you want? I don't know. I'm gonna... All right, so we just talked to the manager. The manager said, hey, if you guys want, take what you guys can out of this unit. We're gonna take a look. But I just found out the guy that bought this unit paid actually $1,800 plus $100 security deposit. Never got security deposit back. $1,900. They came up from West Virginia. They loaded everything they could. It looks like they tried to go through a bunch of boxes, but we found stuff hidden in the boxes in the other place. We found all kind of cool things, antiques, some jewelry and stuff. So who knows what we're going to find in here, but I doubt they went as good through as stuff that Shane and I are going to go through. So definitely going to take a look. I mean, right off the rip, look, I see. little giraffe here so, oh cool it's a lassy little lunchbox it's got a dent in there but that's a good sign they left stuff like that got this on in case I get cold Shane it would look more uh, dignified or what so oh there's two of them in here so right there bam you know that one's not dented up that's a sellable item. The giraffe and stuff I don't really want to sell. But, I mean, that's right in the beginning. We've seen that, so that's a good sign. Maybe there's more in the treasures we have. I guess our goal, we're gonna have to make a little pass chain. We'll pull out some boxes, see what else we can find. Keep watching. Just look at all these. There's all these hand tools just loaded up here. So. Oh! What? Shit. Did you see what I seen? I did. Did you just see what I seen? You gotta be kidding me. You, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. Dude. <laughs> I can't make this up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. See how well they look through the unit, ladies and gentlemen? I, Shane's in shock and all right now. You should see the smile on Shane's face because he's like, Rob, you're crazy. I can't believe it. We just spoke to the manager. Shane knows the unit got abandoned. 22 rifle right there. Oh a Mossberg God. 22 rifle. Right in the front. It was in this box, crushed like this. And, I mean, this is how well they look through the units. I can't wait. We're taking this unit now, Shane. I mean, we just found a Mossberg right in the front. I got goosebumps, Shane. Oh, I love it. This is why I do this job. This guy abandoned this unit, came up out of town. I don't got nothing. Oh. God, I love my job, Shane. Well, keep watching. We gotta start digging. I mean, I'm so excited now. I can't wait to get in. <laughs> Once again, just like the other unit, I am five feet in, finding money right up front. And it makes me just I'm amazed that these guys already went through the unit. So Shane and I are shocking all right now. We're gonna have to go through, just take a quick peek and stuff, but you know, obviously these are all magazines. But once again, you know, you, gotta, you find little envelopes like this. This is 1966. Some kind of savings things, but hey, you never know. These guys, they left a gun in the front. National Geographic magazines, we don't want those. They could have left anything, you know, like the file cabinet. We're going to have to go through all that. Oh. See what's inside? Oh my gosh. 
heavy box. Oh. See, look at this. These were, uh, it looks like 45 records, but they're not in there. But they are like covered with 45. Whoa! Got a little nice little strip kit, Carter kit. See, and it's like, what is inside of here? You know, these guys probably didn't dig in here because this thing's all nasty looking. Oh, I see. It's just like, I think, I think you've, it's just paint chips or something. What? Oh, I was like, binoculars? Really? So we got tools. Walt Disney Cinderella book. See, this is the stuff like right here. Okay, jewelry down on the bottom, Shane. Once again, we got ink. People buy old pen ink. It's actually worth money. So these are the little things they're gonna find hidden. Once again, you got books like this. Take a quick. Hey, what the experts may not tell you about growing the perfect lawn, because they like to keep it a secret. Nobody wants a guy with a perfect lawn on the street, but we can find the binoculars for that. So, you know, old magazines, someone could have value, sandpaper. We're just gonna have to go through everything with a fine tooth comb in here, ladies and gentlemen. The other unit, we found jewelry, every, every which way. See, like right here, they found a jewelry box. So that's a good sign. See, this had a whole bunch of jewelry boxes in there. Oh, what's this? Thumbtacks. But we found jewelry hidden in things that you wouldn't think jewelry would be in, so that's why you're gonna have to look. Have to dig. like in here these are little things like we would find jewelry on the bottom like right there there's money okay and the last unit when we found money in there we found silver we found wheat pennies oh, right here right here this could be sterling silver right here I'll have to look at it later I don't think it is sterling but what is in here Watch your magazines. There's VHS, sealed brand new VHS tapes. Like I said, in these kind of boxes, you gotta dig down in here. You just don't know. Shane will tell you, we found jewelry, all kind of stuff in the last unit. You'll see those videos coming out with what the hails. sleepy eye doll so when you turn it like this it goes to sleep that's what they call sleepy eye dolls so usually dolls are marked on the back of the head right here made in Taiwan to number 20 something and then if not they'll be marked on the butt or the back but man these guys just made a mess Bike in here, Shane? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to start walking over that way. I just wanna see. What is this? Tapes. Tapes, tapes, tapes. And these guys really, they left a lot. We're gonna try to climb Let's see how far these guys got back here. Look at this bike right here, Shane. Makes 
me think they didn't get too far. So why would you leave this bike? They took the other bikes. This is a pretty nice bike right here. It's got the headlight. It's got a speedometer. You see that? So that's a, a Dunlet something. I know it's worth money. A crane. These guys bent this part probably on it. But you could bend all that back. Definitely worth money. Oh, look at these. <clears throat> I usually sell these pretty well. I'm going to climb up here, Shane. A little bit. question is how well could they have gone through all this stuff by not taking everything out of the unit or well, they try to do process one side and go around but they've missed the rifle right in the front There's boxes and boxes of paper wardrobe boxes Oh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over here. Uh oh. We're making a mess ourselves. Make sure they didn't leave any jewelry on the bottom. Curtains. Place is it's stacked. There's way more than I thought. We're going to probably have to grab a, our truck, load up stuff, go through stuff. We'll probably take some of the stuff, but we're definitely not going to take everything. That's for sure. And we've got, there's tons of just scrap. Christmas tree stand. The good thing is our truck is not Crazy. These guys just came through and trashed it. Trashed it. I wonder what they got out of the unit. There's a sewing machine right here, Shane. Books. A lot of books and paperwork, that's for sure. England, Italy, Mexico. It's like these boxes here. Boxes like that, we found stuff on the bottom underneath the books before. So my question is like, how well did these, like right here, this whole box. See, there's glass underneath here. It's like, how well did they go through here, you know? Definitely lots of magazines. This old desk here, we found lots of good stuff in the desk or dresser. I wonder if there's anything inside of it. Woo! Come over here. Just look at this. Piles and piles and piles and piles and piles. I mean, I just see these folding tables alone. We need folding tables all the time, huh, Shane? Man, I wonder how good they went in these dressers. What is this? Is this a dresser or a radio? What is this thing? It's a cedar chest, Shane. Syracuse Company cedar chest. It looks in pretty decent shape. I don't know. It might be totally beat. It's tough to say without taking it out. Wow. What's that down there, Shane? Wooden thimbles, or not thimbles, but uh, for sewing. Step on the stuff, don't be afraid. Shane's not used to climbing on garbage. Ooh. Special. I see something down there. It's like a leather case. It might just be a, a briefcase.
And like things like this. And that. that was pretty nice, actually. These people are very religious. So who knows? What the heck? Oh, this might have went for this. Maybe not. But this was nice. It looks like they have glass and they broke it. But still, this looks like it's all brass. You could strap it out at least. Let's look in here. All brand, like clothes. They didn't even open this box, so. Christmas bells. It's Christmas time. Looks like not much in there. Now I move this out of the way. I can get to what I saw. This is all closed. Let's take a look. Look at that old baby. Oh, right there. What is that? Fur? Yep, mink. So there's a mink stole right there. Not worth a lot of money, but it's still worth money. Let's keep the mice away. So we found a gun, we found minks and stole, and who knows what else we're gonna find in this unit. And... Here's the briefcase. Some bills. It's a nice little case. Here's a nice little case, yeah. So we got books. Tons of boxes. What is that? Is it a washer? Or a dryer? Maybe a freezer. A freezer. Maybe a washer. You got plenty of data to move these boxes in. Who watch out of something? Ah! this? Just cut out the paper? Old papers. Look at that. Nineteen sixty nine, July twenty fifth. Old newspapers. We got the moon landing papers. Look at the dryer. and books and books what else we got over here books books Woo! I hope I don't get stuck in here ladies and gentlemen stuff a lanch so we're going to go back up to the front we're going to take a look see what else we can find hopefully some more hidden treasures the best thing got the unit for free and I don't even got to take everything out of here so I think it's gonna be a win, win, win. Let's go. So I got files. The Untouchables book too. Hmm. So if they box like this, you never know. There might be something on the bottom. What's the something right here? Oh, what is this? Oh. Candy canes, no, they're uh, Halloween or holiday decorations. What the? Is this an angel down here? Oh man, something's. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, nice! Take a look. Brand new. All 
I mean, right there, $15 price tags, brand new at Dillard's. So, brand new stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Just left in here. There's going to be stuff hidden in here, so these guys didn't go through much. You know, poinsettia came a little bit of one, but. Oh my gosh. This keeps going and going. These are all falling out, but these are all glass. Wow. It's brand new board. Let's see what the shiny light down there. There's stuff down here. We'll have to move some boxes out. We're putting some boxes out there to go through. Keep watching. See what else we find. Holy smoke. All right, I'm actually standing on about three foot pile of trash or garbage. There might be some good stuff underneath there, but I'm trying to see what we got. So what we got here, we got some tapes in here. So this is where you gotta dig down deep. Got some kind of picture frame in here. Nothing spectacular. There could be a hidden treasure down here. You gotta look through every, every box. And that's the thing, especially with these kind of people that were basically hoarder types. Look at all that ribbon, dude. Maybe you can learn how to make some bow shank. Part of a jewelry box. That's always a good sign. What the heck is this? Oh, this is a little fence thing with the, with the plastic. You hang little plastic things off this. Brand new. Who knows? Not worth a lot of money, but... handle. Wow, wow, wow. Never leave a burning candle. The brand new Voto candle in there. The little candle holder. It's just, there's no rhyme, no reason. And uh, we know these guys can only go through so much stuff. They were only here one day in West Virginia. So we know they left a rifle. They left a good bike. Brand new items. We're gonna take a look and see some stuff outside, see what we can find. We brought a couple boxes up. It's starting to get dark. Whew. And Shane and I can't work all night. Let's keep Alright everybody. We brought some boxes out. Brought a bag out. Let's see what's in this bag first. Let's go off the table. So we got brand new pieces and parts in here. Control and resistors. Miniature foam plug set. Nothing too spectacular, but you never know. Looks like all electrical stuff. Strap, strap, strap. Got some chocolate for you, Shane. Aw. No chocolate. Oh, Shane, look. Look, look, look. Oh. Oh. It's definitely loaded up with jewelry boxes. We found a lot of jewelry in our unit. Webkins, got an elephant. I don't know about Webkins, but I'm sure it's at least worth a few bucks. Oh, look at a little turtle, turtle. Huh. 
I was hoping for some jewelry in there, but we got, well, I guess we got one little piece. I so can't complain. Let's see what else we got, Shane. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a tapestry. Little Jesus tapestry. Funnels. Oh, look. Money, Shane. Oh, look it, look. Look, look. See, this is what people, they just figure, oh, there are pennies in there. Look at this. These are all wheat pennies. So, we gotta find that 1943 copper. Is that it right there? Is that 43 copper right there? No, oh, 44. 41. But man, look at there's more down here, Shane. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch. So we found silver dimes. Oh, look at all them, Shane. Man, this unit keeps getting better and better. Just little things like that. This thing's just loaded with wheat pennies. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta look in everything. That's why I figured I'd come when they called me up and said, hey, do you want this unit for free? I'm like, well, just there's so much good stuff hidden in the other one. I figured it's worth a shot and you don't got nothing to lose but our time. And I mean, we already got a cool bike. We got wheat pennies. We got a gun. I mean, once again, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. You're not gonna see stuff like this any other channel. And uh, you never know where we're gonna take you. It's always somewhere new, always somewhere different. Never know what we're gonna find. Let's see if there's any more pennies in there, Shane. Yep, one more back there. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, it's a little puppy, puppy. Got books, books, books. Household bank card there, Shane. What do you think about that? Never heard of it. What else is down there? What's the button? Babies are a blessing. Choose life. All right. Then we got all this. New York map. The five boroughs. wonder what year this is. 1978. Lots changed since then. Oh, look at these. The Finlay Story by Jack Amos. Pretty cool. So, St. Michael Catholic Church, Finlay, Ohio. So we got some vintage paper in here. Religious stuff. These people are extremely religious. Mary, was it surgeon? See, this is the kind of box you just don't know where you're gonna find them. Oh, what's this? What's this? Ah, oh, seashells. Sally has old seashells by the seashore. Ooh, no. What is that? That looks pretty cool. Looks like a chess piece, but it's a cool looking chess piece. Is there more figures down here? Oh yeah, there are. There might be a whole set in here, Shane. That's a cool set, isn't it? That's money. We'll have to see if there's more down there. Let's see if, let's go on this side real quick, Shane. Oh, what's this? What's this? It's a piece of a pocket watch, Shane. It's got some paint on there. Right there, look, look. See what it says? I don't know if you can read that or not. Oh, hold on. Maybe if I turn it this way, it'd be easier for you to read. Now can you read it? It says coin silver. silver. Coin silver is 90% silver. That's what coin silver is. Oh, man. That's sweet. What else could be in there? Oh, look at all of them, Shane. I think we got the whole chest set. Just found silver. Who knows what else we're gonna get? 
But these chess pieces are awesome. And I think we got the whole set the way, the way it looks. There's other vintage game pieces in here. Who knows what else we're gonna find. We got the unit for free. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. This is unbelievable. We found a gun, an awesome vintage bike, chess pieces, silver for free, okay? Who knows what else we're gonna find. Keep watching. Appreciate everybody out there.